previously on The Build Up. We've gotten you an apartment. What? <laughs> oh, my oh. God. This apartment is amazing. Yes. Welcome right. to Emerson Westside High School. Awesome. This is where it all began. I want to give back to the next generation and show them that you can be anything that you want to be in life. I'm John. And I'm Anthony. We're design and construction experts. Ellen sent us on a mission to help extraordinary people doing amazing things in their community. This is so sweet that you do this. You go back to high school and you help with an after school program to help kids. And then pay it forward with some incredible renovations and life changing surprises. This is the build up. All right, man. We're going back to high school, buddy. Back to high school. Timothy and Malik, they are young kids. Yeah. I mean, 21 and 19. Like, we were just worried about sports and girls <laughs> and stuff that it didn't matter. Yep. And they're actually giving back to the community. Mr. Brown sounds like an absolute force. I can't, I cannot wait to meet the guy. Mr. Brown is a very great role model, and he's like a father figure. I look at him like the father of the band, basically. Like, I don't think I would be where I met without Mr. Brown guidance. Mr. Brown, Me? we have heard a lot about you, sir. My name is Stanley Brown. I'm the band director here at Edmondson Westside High School. I love music. I love to teach music. This was my calling. I've been in this room for 38 years. H how does this space work for you? We manage. We manage with what we have. This is enough space to practice. Sometimes we send students out in the hall to practice. Make it work. Sure, we That's make it fantastic. work. Over the years, it's starting to wear down on us. Look at some of the cracks in the walls and things like that. I mean, I have to imagine 30 kids in this room with instruments and it's all cinder block. <laughs> it's got to get pretty loud. Yeah, it does. It gets really loud in here. And I'm an alumni. All right. So when, even when I was in the band, you could feel this whole place rocking. <laughs> <laughs> you can feel this whole place rocking. That's amazing. see where Timothy and Malik get it from. Yep. You see why they're volunteering, why they're coming to this after school program and giving so much time. This is where all the giving back starts for these kids. We have to do something for them. 100% by doing the music room, we're touching so many more people. We're touching the future generations. It's the kids that will be coming and will be inside this room learning music and having a good time. Mr. Brown. Hey. Mr. Neil, how's everybody hey, doing? You. Good. All right, so listen, we are giving you guys a brand new music room. Oh my God. The entire room is getting redone. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. You. Thank you. Now get up and get out. I, I thought I was going to retire with the room like this. Oh man. Thank you. All I can say is thank you. First things first. Floor and the risers. Yes. We put down new carpet, it'll look great and bring new life to the room. Yeah, obviously Mr. Brown's office. We've got to do all new storage, get a new fridge and turn this into a fully functioning space. And then instrument storage. The kids need a place to put everything so it's organized, it looks proper, it's easy to get. It's thrown in there now. Yeah, all right, let's get it going. Let's do it. The plan is everything we can see all comes out. <laughs> We want to get Mr. Brown back into his band room as fast as possible, so we're wasting no time painting the entire room a clean white and adding gray carpet squares that not only look great, but help improve the sound. This is just a start. Imagine when the panels go up. It's going to transform this entire room. Now that we've started work on the band room, we've got the biggest surprise yet for the boys. Okay, sounds great, man. Thank you for calling. All right, thanks. Bye. What are we doing? <laughs> I'm, I'm like a little shocked here. That was the Baltimore Ravens. They want you guys to play this weekend with the marching band. What? On the field. Yeah! <laughs> Yo! Yeah! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah. Do you know how many seats are in a Ravens stadium? Oh like my goodness. 70,000 70, people. 70,000 people. Oh my gosh. People. That's seven, zero, zero, zero. 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 Oh my. Zero. Yeah. And then, <laughs> zero. You see this building, bro. The Baltimore Ravens. Let's Yo. go. Whoa. Yo, do you see this? Look at the lights. I cannot believe that I am at the Ravens practice field. Like, it just feel like I'm jamming right now. 
<laughs> kind of starting off the field, and then they're kind of scattering on. Being able to play with the Ravens marching band, oh my gosh. I really hope that we can impress them and live up to their expectations and standards because uh, I'm kind of nervous now. All right, back to work. We got to pick up these sound panels and we need two trucks for this one. <laughs> these sound panels are going to completely change the acoustics of this room. We're using a combination of absorption and diffusion. They can hear better, they can play better, they learn better. They look amazing. The band room is really coming together, and now it's time for the boys' biggest performance ever. Raven! Raven! Game time! I don't know if I'm cold or chills going through my body. Oh, this is it! This is it! We are about to perform at the Ravens Stadium with the Ravens marching band and the drum line behind us. Oh my God. Next time on The Build Up. Everybody's gonna be watching this. This is huge. Awesome! Let's get this band room finished! Oh my goodness. This is the way a band room is supposed to look. <laughs> <laughs>